Airport and of course the 17th annual Capital Air Show, a California Capital Air Show, taking a look at the downtown Capitol. And right out here we have the Thunderbirds behind us. This is an incredible backdrop and there's so much to talk about this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. You know, the themes this year uh, about the Cold War because right? Mather has significant history when it comes to the Cold War. And also, we're talking about women that are so unique and significant right? to Mather and how they have contributed to the Air Force. There's a number of female pilots that we're going to be speaking with today, but also I want to bring in the show's director to talk about not only uh, the fan favorites that we've had, but also what's new this year, because we are back to full capacity for the first time in three years for the pandemic. Darcy Brewer, CEO of this, has been doing it, I don't know, how many years? Well, about 15, Canada's? but it feels like a little longer. Okay. <laughs> there is so much work that you guys do every year for this, Darcy. But let's talk about what we have now. We have the Thunderbirds behind us, so we know they're going to be there. But what other fan favorites are going to be here this year? Well, the A-10 Thunderbolts are back, and the yeah. paint schemes are so cool. We've got the Super Hornets, much like the Blockbuster, blockbuster movie last year, yeah. uh, flying the F-18 TAC demo. We have every single heavy out of Travis Air Force Base, including their new one that no one's ever seen before. What yeah, is it? Which one? it's a KC 46. Oh, and Pegasus. Ooh, yeah. And uh, no one's seen it before, so it's going to be very cool. And keep in mind, you get to walk in these. I mean, when you walk in a C 17 or, or a C 5 for the first time and you see what is inside, like how much, you know, these things weigh 250,000 pounds and they still fly, it is mind boggling. But there's also a lot of new stuff. Well, yeah, I wanted to ask you so there is a hangar chalet. What is that? <laughs> well, so we're trying to be cool this year, so. We brought in a new premium venue and it's in partnership with Visit Rancho Cordova and the Barrel District where we're going to have a whole bunch of brewers and cideries, meateries, distilleries in a hangar with some gourmet food trucks oh. and cornhole and Jenga and all the family friendly fun that you would have okay. if you were out in the Barrel District. Okay. But it's in a hangar right up front looking straight at the Thunderbirds and watching all the jets fly. And we're very excited to open uh, to open up that chalet. Well, yeah, to our that guests. might be the first stop that I go to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little for, tasting, for, a little flying. Right? Yeah. But let's also talk about uh, there's there's so much to see, doing so, so much history uh, here. The ticket prices, I, you know, I, I want to tell you, if, for a ticket price for one adult, you can bring in six kids under the age of 15. Right. This has become one of the shows that's known around the country, around North America, for being friendly, family friendly. Yeah, well, you know, that's what we do all this for. This show is a year in the planning. There's so much choreography and narration and, and music compilation, but it's all about the kids. Mm -hmm. We share the stories yeah. of this history going back to 1918 right here on this patch of concrete we're sitting yeah. on uh, and we do it to inspire young people uh, to reach for the stars and do something amazing and feel yeah. about their jobs someday the way we all feel getting up and going to work at three in the morning. And that's, that's my favorite part about being at the air show, just seeing the kids running around and the smiles on their faces. I mean, they can't smile harder enough. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just so sweet to see them getting all excited. And also, you're kind of starting maybe somebody's future. Right, sure. that's you're the, the, the main purpose, well, inspiration. And think about it. This is 3,000 acres, over 200 acres of displays. And it's, you know, it's cool, it's sexy, it's loud, but it's a giant career day, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. They're yeah. gonna meet somebody right. that inspires them, right. that changes their trajectory and that's exactly. what we're all about. Even if it's not to be a pilot. Right. I mean, you see how some of these planes are working. I want to design something like that. Mm -hmm. Darcy Brewer, thanks. We'll be chatting to you without the show. I've got like a million questions, so stick <laughs> around. But there's a lot to talk about, and we'll be checking in with Monica Deanda. In the meantime, as far as weather is concerned. Yes, okay, Jean-Pierre Melzer, you got to give us our good Capital Airshow forecast, girl.